Hello everyone, good evening, and thank you for coming to the channel. Deb Chanel. Yes, we get down with all types of trending news, hot topics, and hell, whatever we want to talk about when we come on this tube, okay? But today's hot topic that's trending on social media, that means Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, the news stations, magazines, and blogs, whatever they're reporting out there, it's on social media, okay? You got Facebook, like I said, Instagram, and YouTube, and Twitter. That's what our go-to uh, people are, or our go-to social media platforms where we retrieve entertainment news as well as serious, serious news around the world and out of the 52 states. But the social media buzz, what's buzzing out there today, is on our Bunny and Clyde couple. No, I'm not talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z. No, I'm talking about our Bunny and Clyde couple that was facing us on reality shows. The one that came out with Hip Hop Atlanta. Let's go on and get into this discussion. Yeah, yes, we talking about none other than Jocelyn Hernandez and Stevie J. They still in fuss fights when it comes to Bunny Bella and why the other parent can't co-parent right and let mom and dad have their time together but separately. Okay, yes, Bunny Bella's parents are fussing and, and Stevie is allegedly trying to sue her to be able to see his daughter and this, that, and the third. But that's not the real cream of the cream of a topic of conversation I'm getting into. No, it's about Mama, Mama Bear, Jocelyn Hernandez. It is said out there in them streets that she got thrown out of her luxury, exquisite beachfront condo that she was uh, sharing with, you know, her and Bunny Bella and probably some relatives too, I don't know, because Jocelyn likes to be around family. So, to see her and her daughter up there in an the apartment by themselves, I can't see that. But my question is, what is her new man doing for her? All right, what's he doing for her? She can't be getting thrown out nowhere. She got a baby. And if he's supposed to be holding her down, everything's supposed to be secure. But it makes you go and it makes you think and it makes you wonder, hmm, okay, is she better off with Stevie J than with this new man? Because when they take photos, by I've seen previous photos together, it doesn't show any love or connection between them. And it's just me. You know, it's my opinion. This is what I'm just picking up on the photos that I'm getting. But when she was with Stevie J, yeah, they were a little bit dysfunctional. Yes, they were totally night and day. But they were their yin and yang to one another. Okay? They, their situation or how they were just totally opposite from opposite opposites from each other made them jail together you know how they say opposites attract you know so i'm like i saw love i saw devotion i saw some unity with them when they were together but you know steve would just like to play with other women and i don't think that is totally out of him yet even though i've heard some things on the streets about him and faye may not be faring too well either but I don't know why Faith even got mixed up with Stevie J. He wasn't right. They should have remained friends for at least a couple more years down the road to see if he's stable enough to be in a committed relationship, a monogamous relationship. So this is interesting. That's my sidebar. Let's get back to the commentary. Yes. Um, got it from none other. Log source, commentary, columnist, journalist, paper rag, or whatever you want to call it informative news got the piece or the article from Atlanta Black Star yes very reputable news feed they give me a title as run me my money Jocelyn Hernandez reportedly faces eviction behind on rent again it takes me back to what is her man doing for her her new man because he just gave me a tease of being like a little pimp you know, like he pimping Jocelyn out. I don't see no love in their pictures together. 
Bunny Belly don't look, Bunny Bella don't look like she warming up to him at all. I'm like, I'm really, really side eyeing <laughs> this situation. Okay. And kind of turning my head all the way to him. Just look and see, do I see any infidelity issues going on with him? You know, just walking or uh, watching him like a Hawkeye. You know how your mom be, you bring a, a new man home and he, she just looking him up and down and go get the grandmama and she doing the same thing and they talking amongst each other, sizing them up and they be like, nah, he ain't the one for you. Get him out my house. <laughs> Type of deal. That's the one I'm getting from or that feeling. Uh, old school feeling that he ain't no good. He's more mischievous of getting Jocelyn into more mischievous than she's used to being in. Like she kind of being held hostage in a sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just me. Okay, my intuition. But getting back to the article, it was written by Tia Berger on July 3rd, 2019. Let's go on and see what she's saying about the situation. Because I tell you, Jocelyn just does not she just does not have the pick or the right formula to picking nice men for herself and for her baby. I just don't know. Because, you know, a few months back, Stephen was having trouble. That's why he hooked up with Faith. Or at least that's why I think he hooked up with Faith for security reasons. He didn't have nowhere to lay his head. She was the next abiding and willing participant. And, you know, she was a good person to uh, hang out with for a while. That He just didn't know how to go home. But he didn't have a home because he was just releasing everything. <laughs> but you got to love Stevie. Got to love him. You can't hate him. I mean, he'd be wrong all day, all night. But it's just something about his personality where you just cannot hold a grudge against him or you can't stop uh, being, well, you can't stay mad at him, okay? Uh, he just gives you that. He just gives you that mode, that vibe, okay? So I may be a little biased between these two because I really thought they had very much good chemistry. They tape well. And I actually had a chance to meet both of them at one of my previous jobs. And they seem totally different. Uh, from what they portray on screen, then off screen, fine young uh, citizens that the uh, impression that I've got when I personally met them. So it just is what it is. I guess when you turn on the camera lights, everything just goes out the window and they just try to make us have a good show of entertainment. <laughs> but they're really tame and um, comfortable people within themselves okay sometimes maybe finances are a little rough because you know you know how they say you always eat more than what you your mind try to digest more food than your body can take in okay so it's kind of the same thing with these two they love the fame and the fortune but they don't actually put their money to good use you know for the longevity i guess that's what i'm trying to say okay but getting back to this article it goes in to say, it seems former love and hip-hop Atlanta star Jocelyn Hernandez may have a lawsuit on her hands after failing to pay her Florida landlord. You know, she resides in Miami, Florida now. She left Atlanta, GA, you know, where it was greater in Decatur, but it is good. Wherever she wanted to reside and lay her head, hey, she could be a Rolling Stone if she wants to. She could be a Rolling Stone because Rolling Stone don't gather no moss. Okay, check that out. That's basically the old school. But getting back to the commentary. Okay, we have the 32-year-old reality star apparently can't catch a break from court and is being accused of skipping out on her monthly rent payment according to court documents obtained by Bossip. Okay, Bossip is another um, blog uh, organization where they uh, feed out entertainment news to society. Okay. Uh, Landlord Beach Place Apartments filed a lawsuit against the self-proclaimed Puerto Rican princess on June 24, claiming she failed to pay $2,056 for one month of rent for a two-bedroom upscale pad near Sunny Islands Beach, or Sunny Isles Beach. Oh, Lord, $2,056 for rent, and that's not a house. Uh, like I said, they love their life, but they ain't being fiscal responsible with them dollars, okay? Moving on, not in the commentary, but I just put that in as a side piece. Moving on to the next article, uh, paragraph, it says the luxurious apartment complex claimed it left a late rent notice on her door, but she apparently never forked over the money. They're asking the Run Me My Money rapper to dish over $2,375 
or she'll be evicted. Okay, the suit also demands Hernandez pay legal fees. They suing her, and then they want her to pay their legal fees. Ain't that something? Okay. But I guess she should have paid her rent, too, before skipping out, if this, in fact, article is true, allegedly. Okay? But usually when you put stuff in print like this, it's pretty much true. You probably could find court documents as well if you really wanted to search it out. But that's my commentary, my pun. Getting back to the article. She's been given a month to respond to the Beach Place complaint or it will push for a default judgment as of june 27th uh she hasn't responded to their lawsuit there are no current updates as if the mother of one doesn't already have enough on her plate she's also undergoing a custody battle with ex fiance stevie J, the father of her two-year-old donna daughter bonnie bella the music producer recently asked the court to have her thrown behind bars in their reunited custody battle Hey, you know, Stephen, you can't put your baby mama in jail. Who's going to take care of Bonnie Bella? Hey, you like to party. You know you be hitting these streets in Atlanta. All right? Who's going to take care of Bonnie Bella? Faith? And you in Los Angeles now. And she's in, oh, man. She on the West Coast. <laughs> nah, that's not going to work, Stephen. Y'all need to get it together. Or leave it alone, okay? That's my pun. Getting back to the article. He claimed Hernandez violated their 2018 custody agreement by refusing to let him see their daughter. When has, wait a minute, to let him see their daughter when has a traveled, when he has traveled from his Atlanta home to Miami, where Jocelyn resides, to visit baby Bonnie, Bell, uh, Bonnie baby Bonnie. Hernandez denies Stevie J's allegations, claiming the producer was included in important decision making regarding their child's education, health care, and more. She's also said she never denied him from seeing a two-year-old. She's asking the judge to throw out Stevie's case and to deny his attempt to have her jail. I mean, yes, yeah, Stevie, that's a little harsh now. You can't be having a mother of your child uh, jailed, okay, unless she's doing something that's really incompetent, okay, and illicit, which I don't think she's doing, Stevie, so back down. That's my commentary, not in this article. Moving back to the article, it says fans have mixed reactions to Hernandez and Stevie J's custody case, siding with both parents. This means, or this baby needs time with his daddy and big sis. Shame on you, Jocelyn. Let her see. Let her see. I mean, he meant to say let him see her. Or let, oh no, she, they got it right. Jocelyn, let her see Stevie, meaning let her see her dad. One thing no one can ever neglect negatively talk about is your parenting you're doing an amazing job by yourself great hashtag great mom hashtag no steven i hope they work this out for the sake of their daughter and those last two things i read with just comments that were in um i guess maybe jocelyn's or atlanta black stars comment section but if they need to get it together i mean bonnie bella need both her parents because definitely that is stevie j's child up and down up and down he can never ever try to deny her which he's not he just wants to see her so yes yeah, so those things have to be worked out and i'm thinking is the new man in her life saying that steve don't need to be with his child i mean do he have children is he going seeing his children or not he cannot make that decision so i don't know if you made a, a good choice in selecting that uh, man that you're with now man eater puerto rican princess number one on the charts okay i don't know it's, but it's driving me a little insane, too, to think that if you are living with this man because you don't skip out on your rent in your apartment that you were once living and sharing with Bonabella, uh, you might need to think twice. Because it seems like it's more of a maneuver to be transparent in... He's trying to be possessive of you or uh, obsessive of you. That's what I'm getting. Like I said, I don't have a good vibe with you and your new man. Because when I see the pictures that y'all take uh, part in and share them on social media, it don't look like no love there. It looks like everything is just forced, you know, or staged in a sense. Like you pose here, you look this way, you look that way. Let, let Bonnie Bella do what she want to do. Okay, we'll just keep, catch capture her in her rap form. But it just don't seem like no love. Even when y'all touch each other, like it's just a stage type of photograph. But anyway, that's all I had on this story. I thought I would just reintroduce to the world on my platform, my social media platform, the real Bunny and Clyde.
Do y'all remember that time when they was at a reunion and Stevie and um Jocelyn was gonna fight um what was his name? Bizino and Aletha Aretha Aletha. Whatever her name is. His uh girlfriend at the time, maybe fiance, because they were talking about they were high. <laughs> <laughs> they were both going to go in and serve notice, okay, with them hands. I do remember that. Now I think she got a hold to me. She also got a hold to Mimi. Molly the maid, she named her. But she was just tired. She like, oh, I'm tired of all these uh, garden tools around him. Whoever I can get my hands on, just round them up for me. <laughs> she was showing out. She was the best thing that happened. The love and hip hop, along with Stevie J. And when they decided to leave the show because of all the negativity that was surrounding it, I miss that. That's when Mona Scott had a gold mine when she had them two on the show. Because I ain't miss, I didn't miss not one episode. And if I had missed it, I had to go and research it out to see who had it that I could play it back because I, it, they were just too funny. And I've done a lot of videos on. I think it's Stevie and Jocelyn go to L.A. or something like that. I watched those, too, and I, I did some reviews. They just made me chuckle at the time because they were just, I don't know. They were serious but not serious as a couple. You know what I'm saying? But interesting uh, to watch. So, anyway, that was my report on Run Me My Money. Jocelyn Hernandez reportedly faces eviction behind on rent <laughs> by Tia Berger. For Atlanta Black Star. Okay, that's the company she works for and writes for Entertainment News. All right, y'all heard it live and in color on Deb Chanel's 48 Worlds channel. Make sure you spread my videos around the globe. Like, share, and well, I did say share, but like and comment because I like to hear from all of you. Whether you're giving me high props, high fives, or will you bury me in the sand when I'm, I'm going six feet on the witch of daisies? Okay. Doesn't matter. Love it all. Okay. And definitely um, thumbs up my video and subscribe if you haven't done so at this time. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you for our next video on Delp Chanel's 48th World. Bye.